Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Don't forget when you slide in, click that subscribe button. <laughs> and then I hope to see you again. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Pisces. And all these new subscribers. For all the new subscribers, you get gifts upon entry, right? You get gifts upon entry. I'll just snatch your energy from the door, right? And if you're just passing by, I'm going to snatch your energy from the door. So come on in so I can snatch your shit. <laughs> holy fear, holy angels for Pisces. The good, the bad, or the ugly, right? We just never know. We just never know. Believe in your good luck, Pisces. Full moon is Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. So, believe that you are good luck. Believe that whatever you want to happen is going to happen, right? Believe in your good luck, Pisces. Holy Spirit. Attune to the divine. And this is new moon in Pisces. Pisces, this is your card. Attune to the divine. Pisces, if you haven't been meditating or praying, it's time. And listen to the divine. Pay attention to the messages. Pay attention to the symbols, the signs, the synchronicities. Pay attention to the clock. When it happens, when you happen to look at the clock, what does it mean? What do those numbers mean? Look it up, Pisces. Everything is relative when we're playing with energies, right? Everything is relative. I can tell you right now, because see, I'm weird like that. If a book was to fall on the floor right now in the middle of this reading and I turn it over and it's on page 36, I'm like, oh my God, 36 means something to somebody. And then I'm going to read from that page and I can put money on it that there's a message in there. Everything is relative when it comes to energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, one more for Pisces. Attune to the divine, guys. Pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, the messages, your phone calls, your texts, everything. Let your fears dissolve, full moon and cancer. All right, guys. So if you're worried about anything, if you have any fear, if something got you going, let it go, Pisces, right? Now we're going to go a little deeper, and we're going to go and use the looking glass. This is called the looking glass, which I need to put in the Etsy store, like, right now. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Pisces. The looking glass. What do you need to take a closer look at, Pisces? Right? What does Pisces need to take a closer look at, Spirit? What do you need to see? Take it. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Hmm. Spirit said open your heart, Pisces. You're probably about to meet the one. Or maybe you already met the one. You just got to open your heart and get together with this person. Spend some time. What else is in this looking glass? Spirit for Pisces. It's in the cards. Taking chances. Strategic. Gambling with love and not showing their hand. Somebody could be coming towards you, Pisces, and you don't even see it. They're not showing their hand, right? They're taking a chance. Being strategic. One more for Pisces. And we have passion. Y'all have great chemistry. Pi Pisces, I told you, affection, devotion. And it's, it's sizzling, baby. Go ahead, baby. So that's what's going on in your looking glass, which isn't too shabby, right? Pisces, believe in your good luck. If you haven't met the one, Spirit said you will, right? Attune to the divine, guys. Take some chances. Maybe somebody's about to take a chance with you, Pisces, and they're not showing their hand. There's passion here, great chemistry and affection. Somebody wants to be devoted to you, Pisces. Holy Spirit. <clears throat> For Pisces, what do we have? Somebody is all up in their head about an ending, about the things that they've been through. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Maybe they're up in their head about coming to tell you some truth, Pisces. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Okay. So they're not scared to come and talk to you. 
Not now. They went from the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords in reverse. This person had to heal. This person had to heal from a Ten of Swords in reverse, right? Maybe they're going to come and tell you that. But they want to take this chance with you look like Pisces, right? They believe you two have great chemistry. They're just they just need to let their fears dissolve so they can come towards you. So somebody has a they want you Pisces, but they just have this fear. Yep, here's the Knight of Swords. I told you. Coming in slowly, coming in hesitant, coming in like, I don't know, should I? Yep, and the reason why they're hesitating is because this person been through some deception. Ten of swords in reverse, three of swords in reverse. Right? And they're scared to come back. But they're feeling strong. They're standing in their strength. They definitely ended the two of cups in reverse. And they're not up in their head about it. <clears throat> that they're not. They're not up in their head about that ending. And they're coming back to you, Pisces, with this eight of cups in reverse. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Pisces. Yep, Six of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse. This person here, they don't want to go back to this past. It's like they learned their lessons there. They learned enough to where they can walk away completely without thinking... You know, am I doing the right thing? They also could have walked away from you. And now they're coming back to you. Because this is the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody coming back to you. So they could have walked away from you for someone else. <clears throat> Whatever they went through, this deception. Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. And then, because they healed from it. The Towers in reverse also. So they're through... Your person is uh, your person has gone through the hardest part because they've healed. And now they're hopeful. Maybe they're hopeful if they come and tell you their truth about what went down or at least something like that. They do want to come in and work with you, Pisces. They do. Four cups. This person is bored without you. Pisces, they are lonely without you, Pisces. Holy Spirit for Pisces. <clears throat> they feel y'all have great chemistry. They're going to take a chance on this. Seems like they're trying to come back, Pisces. I believe they left. It looks like it. Something well for you, Pisces? Or something well for somebody? There's a message of concern. There's a thief. Pisces, you're going to find out somebody's stealing from you. I thought. Somebody thinking about you, Pisces. They may be stealing from you. You may have something well. Or maybe somebody's stealing from your person. Maybe they have something well. Somebody gonna end up in court though. That's on the bottom. That just came out of nowhere, but the spirit told me to do it. I don't know why. But it means something to somebody, right? So anyway, guys, back to the originally scheduled program. Um <laughs> this person is bored without you. Seven of Cups. This person has been through judgment. I told you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe they've been in court. Maybe this person, whoever they were dealing with, had options. Maybe they've been to court over some money. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yup, somebody was out dipping it and doing it. Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh. Okay. 
So somebody had options. Maybe somebody chose somebody with sudden wealth, right? Maybe maybe whoever was messing with this person chose somebody else because of money, right? And that person receives a letter of concern to meet me in court. Because we're going to court. So I think it's a ten of pentacles. Your person got their heart broken. They healed from it. So then it's a knight of wands and a queen of wands in reverse together. So it's like maybe this person was cheating with, not your person, but the person that cheated on them. Pisces, I know it's crazy, but I know y'all get it. Maybe their person, whoever was cheating on them, also had a person. Because they're both karmics. It's almost like, I know you got a man and I know you got a woman and then y'all still cheat. It was a knight and the queen of wands both in reverse together. So whoever these people are, both know that whoever you was dating had someone else. I just saw 1111, whatever that means to anybody. So whoever their person cheated with, cheated with a cheater, right? It's like they was down with it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Pisces. Spirit. I hope this makes sense. Four of Wands. So now they want to come and offer you some stability. Nope, 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 nope. That Four of Wands, that wedding is over. It's the Hierophant in reverse. It's a done deal. Ace of Cups in reverse. It's a wrap. So I did say it right. So their person cheated. Oh, my motherfucking God. Sorry. Seven of Wands. Your person is frustrated. But they're like, I'm done here. They said I was dealing with the devil. I was straight up dealing with the devil. They didn't realize it. Lord. Mm -mm -mm. They want you back, Pisces. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They're not putting in any work over there no more. They're going to follow their intuition. They chose wrong, Pisces. Here they are, King of Pentacles. They want to come celebrate with you. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Oh, Lord, Pisces. Mm, 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 mm. So your person, Pisces, that's trying to come back to you, got cheated on. But their person, their person got caught cheating with another person who was cheating on their person. You see what I mean? So it was two cheaters who both had somebody at home together. It's the, king, the knight and the queen of wands both in reverse together. You know what? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who? <laughs> Who is this Knight and Queen of Wands in reverse together? Like, what is their deal? Because they came out together, Spirits. Like, they were in cahoots. It looks like two people who both had somebody cheated together because they both had somebody. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who are these these knights and queen of wands in reverse? For the collective. Let us know, Spirit. Spirit said it's a no. Spirit said whoever it is, it's a no. Right? Spirit said whoever they are, it's a no. Spirit said as soon as you find out who they are, it's a no. Sex, lust, and nothing else. Guys, I can't stand me or my cards. What did I say that was? What did I say that was? Spirit said, whatever it is, it's a no. Sex, less than nothing else. Sex, less than nothing else. So your person, so your person's person, because I said your person got cheated on. Ten of swords in reverse. It was, the, all the swords were in reverse. Like your person just got bamboozled and hog tied, right? But they met you as well. In between all of this, maybe they met you when they found out that their person was cheating. Well, check this out. Whoever their person was cheating with, their person was cheating with another person who had someone. Because it was the knight and the queen of wands, both in reverse. It was it was nothing. It was just sex, lust, and nothing else. Pisces, I don't know if this is the person that your person was messing with and that was the energy that they was in. But I think it was your person's person was messing with the person and that person had a person too. There we go. I had to make it make sense to me. 
I'm starting to lose my mind. But y'all get it. It was sex, lust, and nothing else. And when I said spirit, who are these people? Spirit said it's a no. It's a no for you. Whoever it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're really about that life, you hit that subscribe button, right? Right? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.